Today, Tyler and I have chosen to get Powerline Porter. It's one of our favorite beers, also from Michigan. Always Michigan beers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cannot wait to get this started. Yeah. We've been talking about doing this biscuits and gravy idea for a while, and we're finally going to get started on it today. Tyler actually has been working on this for the past couple hours. This. Ooh. We, uh, we've been thinking about doing basically like biscuits and gravy, but trying to make them in like bite size. And so we're gonna make a couple small ones. Because I was like, into that the best part of biscuits and gravy is just like that really that flaky crust mm -hmm. really goes well with it. So we're hoping it works out even if we pan. Yeah, we gotta keep the flakiness despite, mm -hmm. you know, like even if we turn it into a wrap. Yeah. So that's gonna be the tricky part. Okay, so first thing we need to get the bacon and uh, you wanna get that, uh, video. sausage. We really need to go see Kubo and the Two Strings. All I can think about is going to see that movie. Looks like I just saw a commercial for it again. Has anybody seen it? Is it good? Let us know. Because Tyler's favorite month is coming up. Oh, yeah. See, Tyler and I have lived every together for a long October. time now. And every October, I kind of go through a phase where all I can watch is stop motion animation and just. I don't know, those like. From the moment he wakes up until Netflix stops playing, yeah. <laughs> when he falls asleep, I just. I love it so much. Yeah, James and the Giant Peach. Uh, yeah. Nightmare well, Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. That's one of your favorites. You play that like yes, constantly. One. Actually, I think one of my my favorite stop motion is um, Paranorman. I don't know why. Oh, that I think one's it's, really it's good. just so funny. It gets me every that time. That one's really good. So Tyler actually showed me some techniques so I don't uh, cut my finger really badly this time. And another Turns technique. out it's a lot easier to cut that way than the way I was doing it by just pure blunt force. Hi, Mom. I know you're tuning in right now. I hope you're enjoying the stream. I saw you plugged in your phone over here. Yeah. Mom, we were thinking, um, I really, really, really want to show people your exact recipe for your cookies because your I truly believe, so yeah, they're amazing. You probably have, like every mom claims to have the best cookies, but hands down, I, we know that belongs to you. They're just, I, I don't know if it's because like it's, it's like the salt that you use, but they're just, you, you can't stop eating it. Salt makes them addictive. This is gonna be one of the one of the options on our menu that definitely has nothing to do with being healthy. There's no way. We really want to go healthy with a lot of things on our food no, truck. You, but on you, the other hand, it's, it's like, soaked in like we're, we're right now. Yeah, we're using the bacon. That's one of the first things we're doing. We're cooking it up, and then all that leftover crap that's in there, mm, you bacon. have to now cook the sausage in and break it all up. And so it soaks up all that breaking break, bacon grease. And then after that the sausage is cooked, that's when you actually can start making the gravy. So it's there's no way you can make it healthy and taste good. I already made a bunch of dough today, so you get to make the dough for the biscuits. You're exactly at two cups. Yeah, I'm like, exactly oh, I'm gonna, I'm at two cups. I'm like, no, well, I, need, I, I one did it twenty four biscuits. Perfectly right. There. But woo! Look at that, champion. Four teaspoons baking powder. With the bacon, it's sizzling a lot less right now. You can like you can hear it, so that's when it's time that, to flip it. That's a good way to know your bacon's ready to be flipped. Just a nice little tip for bacon. You can listen to it, you don't have to watch it as much. Hi Kayla, hi Sam. <laughs> That's awesome. Hi Ben. Oh nice. Oh man, thanks. Yeah, Sam, this is, this is Sean's work tank. I stole it from him. Oh, we got Sam in here? Yeah. Sam Navarro, dude, he's a rocket scientist. He's one of our friends. He's like the smartest person I've ever met. Yeah. He's like one of those characters on... Definitely the smartest. Do the Sam face, too. He's got this one face he makes when he <laughs> plays bass. <laughs> and like he knows he does it. It's like our favorite thing. It's awesome. Hey, Sam. Two tablespoons of... We got breakfast sausages. Uh, what flavor do we get? We got brown sugar. It's the best kind. We thought brown sugar would go good with uh, biscuits and gravy. Just a little bit of sweetness. It won't be overwhelming. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Sausages. Pour it in there. So thick. Creamy. Mm. Now, if you give me a little bit more room on this cover, oh, really good. Good. oh, yeah, I could have given you more That's just all bad stuff, probably. You, that's a lot of just baking soda. So, I mean, it's fine. It's, it's coating the bottom of the butter a little. Okay, I've got the butter cut up pretty nice. Here, and I'm just gonna... Okay, so we wanna work the butter into the dough. We're gonna stir, we're gonna get a close up cam. Okay, so this is how the dough should look, guys. It should still be really flaky and uh, 
That's, that's a perfect consistency right there. It's We've got the butter mixed in. There are still little um, chunks of it there, but that'll be okay. We've got the sausage getting nice and browned up over here. And then we've got a solid boil on our water for the bagels. Softly. So we're, we're definitely multitasking right now. Use the flour on your hands. You want to get, when you're working with any kind of dough, you want to just work the flour around your hands. And anytime you feel like you have moisture on your hands, you want to, uh, told you to use baking grease. Hey, your sister's in chat. Ooh. Hey, Kellen. Oh, hi, Kelly. So we're going to get flour on the surface. Almost messed up there. Yeah. Okay. So now you're going to take this dough. And you're going to get it in here. And get the flour all over your hands like I did here. Sprinkle a little flour on here so that we can work with it. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Get the flour on your hands first. So always get the flour on your hands, and I feel like I've got a little chunk uh, of stuff on. spilled everywhere. That's okay. We're going to get flour everywhere. It's everywhere. Right. So you need to get that spread out a little more. Mm -hmm. um, you want it about half an inch tall. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to try to cut that into a dozen pieces. Okay. Like, the idea is to pull it out into a dozen two-by-two two pieces. Uh, so, yeah. That should be good. I'm going to take... Uh, all right, guys, let's do this. All right, so we're back where we were cutting up all the dough into 12 pieces, kind of, except for I need to make one really big one. So how many of these can I take? You care? I mean, what are you making one big one for? Try to do like a bread bowl style, see how that kind of turns out. See if you can like kind I of think for the bread bowl, you want to just thin one out and put it in the uh, cupcake. You think so? Okay. Tin. Yeah. Let's try it. Like, I would just try to like smash it out a little more. That one's going to be thinner, uh, so it's not going to be as like floaty kind of flaky but yeah I mean you want it to thin out over the side so it can flap over the gravy once it's done cooking so, okay so he's thinning out the uh, some of the the dough that he made for the biscuits and those are right there and he's gonna thin those out the rest of them are gonna stay about that thick oh. and that way they uh, they're gonna float up and and so we're trying to put them into the cupcake tin, and we're going to see how that ends up cooking out. And over here, I've got about five of my bagels made. Uh, as you guys can see, they've formed up. They look pretty nice. Uh, over there. Oh, I forgot to put a giant handprint on your back. You should show that to the camera. Oh, yeah, dude. Is it pretty bad, guys? Oh, it's, like, it's like Sauron got you. Oh, my gosh. Perfect. And then I mean, I got... hold it up to the camera they can see now so they can, you know, see what you've done. Yeah, or... I kind of... This is all experimenting, guys. Yeah, today is just... Just step one. Let's see. We're gonna see how well this bakes. I don't know if it's gonna bake it like a burrito. But once I need this, I need a couple of these saved. I would say like two or three for a burrito. Let's try like just small scale. Yeah, that's not agreed. And then the rest are gonna be just normal. So we bought poppy seeds for this week. Um, for the bagels, we're gonna do uh, some more of the cinnamon brown sugar, and I'm just not gonna put them in the do toaster right after and you know, get that stuck to my hand. That just reminded me. I know a recipe we could do that'd be really easy that you guys would like. What? Um, my mom taught me this one. It's poppy seed chicken. Oh, that's a great. It's just, it's super fast. It's really good. Needs a lot of people. B3605, how long have we been cooking? Um, I've been a restaurant manager for like two years or so, and I've been cooking a ton during that. And I mean, before that, like we're both 26, so maybe a little before that, but I didn't really start to like cooking until I started. Um, I always liked food, but like the food industry, but I didn't really like cook that much, but. Just the more I did it, the more I liked it. And I think, Jordan, you're the same way, right? You just started to cook, like, mm -hmm. like uh, cooking. It's been a little more recent, but I've really just been enjoying it. It's kind of like it's it, it's an art, and it's really fun, and it's different. It's relaxing. I think you and I both really like, you know, having people, like, eat the food and then get super happy. Like, oh, this food was great. Thanks for serving. Like, we like to think, I mean, granted, the food is not feedback. always. constant feedback. Yeah, but, yeah. like, it's fun to just make something, give it to people, and then have them be happy, yeah, and that's your business. It's Okay, just put it on all that medium low. Now we are going is to really add, good, by the way. Yeah, sprinkle on, let's see, about two cups of flour. You can see him adding the flour. Oh crap, I think I was, I did it actually wrong. You're not supposed to put it all on once. As what you can see, I really now? messed up. You need to go get the whole milk and start adding some whole milk to yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. I did not do Just that. Just a little bit at a time, it's okay. That. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we've got the bagels over here, guys. How do those look? Um, we've got some that are formed pretty nice, and then some that aren't as well formed. It's supposed to only be one-thirds cup, and I did like two cups of powder. Oh my god. This is... 
It's okay. We're just gonna end up making more of it than we meant. It's so it's so flowery. Flowery. Yeah, it's just gonna be a thicker gravy than we wanted. But thicker gravy actually could be good for our concept. We need to get these. We need to get these in the oven so I can get my bagels in the oven. So I'm gonna start on that. Okay. All right. Uh, these three we're gonna end up pan frying. So they're good. Uh, we've got this over here. We're just gonna put our biscuits on this guy. We're gonna cook these for the 15 minutes and we're gonna see how these turn out. Well, maybe not even. These are smaller than I thought they were gonna be. So. No, actually, we can just throw these. This works. One as a, that's our test guy. I'm gonna have to take that out earlier, but I'm gonna get in here. So he's going to slowly add in the whole milk until we get to a consistency and like thickness that we're looking for. Okay, so we're going to add this in slowly here. I think y'all can see it. Okay, I'm kind of blocking it, so I'm going to go over here more. Okay, so we're starting to get a little bit of the creaminess back. It's not just super thick. I'm going to add in a little bit more. And this one, thanks mom. Yeah, my mom texted me, you haven't seasoned it. And I was like, oh yeah, we probably should do some of that. Drop some stuff. We'll clean that in a second before I put it on. Okay, we need uh, just salt and pepper, I'd say, for now. Yeah. Where's the pepper hiding? Do you have the pepper over there? Um. No, I put it over here. Hmm. Okay. okay, Himalayan salt. We're gonna season it to taste, so why don't you get some pepper in there? A, say, like a decent amount and then stir it in, we'll taste. Very floury right now, not a lot of flavor. Um, once the sausage cooks down a little more, it's gonna be a lot better. But you so. can definitely taste the sausage and the bacon grease in there. Added some nice savoriness to it. Bra gravy does look, that looks like about the right consistency, I think. What do you guys, I think that looks a lot better. Um, looking at the biscuits, I'm gonna take one here and we're gonna kinda like break at the sides of it. And we got like a nice flaky biscuit, um, kinda falling apart. Good? Oh yeah, it's pretty good. So we've got a couple biscuits here. Okay, um, what if just flat one? For kind of the flat one, I tried baking it just in case we could, uh, oh, yeah. like make like a little. If it was, if it was a little bit. Uh, I, if it was, less I, baked. yeah, I think I baked it a little too long. Which, yeah. But I was hoping to be able to kind of roll that up with some gravy or something. But I think we made these too small to really make. Uh, I mean, they look gigantic on the close-up cam, but I think they may be a little too small. Okay, right now we just kind of had it as a sauce. I'm just trying it on the flattened biscuit. All right, I need to get this out of the way so that way I can uh, pan fry these. Mm -hmm. How is it? Good. Yeah. It's pretty thick. <coughs> it's really thick. Yeah, the sauce is too thick, but. Get that pan nice and buttery. Mm. That looks good. Oh, yeah, okay, that um, I'm gonna up this temperature and we're gonna get started on the bagels. Okay, we're gonna boil our bagels. We're boiling them three at a time or so for about a minute each. You know what? I should have like a little brown sugar in here. Yeah, that would've been good. That sounds kind of good. I don't know why. Do you want some? Yeah, just toss some brown sugar in there. I'm flipping my bagels. They've been uh, boiling for about a minute. Uh, you can see the sauce pop. I'm getting together a mix for uh, bagels to be topped in. Our bagels, however, you've really like mastered it in just no time on how to make those. I, I can't believe you did it that quickly. Oh my gosh. It's a disaster over here. I love it. <laughs> Jordan's disaster. It's... Okay, we boiled our bagels for a minute on both sides. Uh, we're gonna swing them over here. Now we're gonna get them topped and then I'll drop in new bagels. Some of these bagels are gigantic. Made some of them a little bigger than the others. Uh, these three bagels are the uh, bagels that are gonna be kind of like an everything. Bagel. Got uh, salt, onion, garlic powder, pepper. I got three more bagels going. I'm gonna do the brown sugar. So we're talking about our gravy bowls. Is now it's you can see it might be kind of a good enough size just to put a bunch of gravy in or smother it. You know. Hey Ben, we were talking earlier, but yeah, seriously, man, we wanna 
we're trying to brand the channel around like gaming, wow. cooking, and fitness. So we we're gonna have uh, Owen Ben here on the channel. Nice. He's he's our that's what she pro. said. And he's gonna come on here and help us out. We're gonna do like a live workout, maybe talk some fitness, do a bunch of cool stuff. It's gonna be great. Let's see how good this is, guys. Biscuits, gravy, brown sugar. All right, here we go. It's really hot. It's really hot. Oh, it's so hot. I told it's you so hot. You didn't learn from my left mistakes. You've gotta let things cool. That's actually pretty good. It's uh, crunchy on the outside. Nice. Center. Why don't you show uh, the inside of it yeah. to the camera? Maybe it's get a the close-up cam going. We could actually go really well. We're thinking of coming with a bunch of like sauces and glazes, and that's I don't know. The inside it, it didn't turn out as like uh, gooey as what I hoped, but I didn't put as much sauce and gravy in there as what. Get that out of the way. Okay, so we got it. It's got the flaky. We still got a flaky kind of setup to this uh, biscuit, yeah. even though it's like a uh, kind of like a hot pocket. And then we've got it filled with gravy. And it's kind of absorbed into it. We had our bagels in here at 475. We got on the left, we've got the everything bagels. Then we've got the cinnamon brown sugar bagels. On the right, we have the everything plus bacon bagels. Well, but that's we've been trying to think of like, you know, do I want to do like a, like a donut with like some sort of a like jelly inside where we cut out the middle? So we've got this, and I mean, we can hollow this. Maybe it's just way too thick. I do that way. Yeah, I guess just like, you know, hollow it out. The problem with it being so flaky is that it's just, just going to fall apart. Yeah. I mean, but we got a decent cup now. We could put in a spoonful of gravy in there. Why don't we try that? There you go. Yeah, just that's that hole in the center, so you're not going to get as much of the goop. That looks not so bad. I don't know. That looks pretty good right there. Cool pattern on the back of the shirt. Yeah. I know, I, I, I went right back to him, I was like, Yeah. Ha. I mean, it, it's a little chaotic right now, but we were just kind of goofing around, and um, it's been up to the end of this a little bit. <laughs> this one that held together, this one's just falling apart. Yeah, I mean, but they look pretty good there. Like, I don't know, I would eat those. They're supposed to be bite, they're supposed to be like handheld. Yeah, this like, one. The goal is them being handheld. fell apart. So. There's no way. Let's try Let's these see. guys. I mean, yeah. Oh. It's still. I like it. I think it turned out very good. It's still really flaky. Yeah. It's handheld. It's messy, though. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. We just need more sausage and the gravy. Adding the bacon was a great idea. Mm -hmm. Adding more bacon was never not a good idea. But you see, it really, it's not the heart of a recipe. I just, I goofed up and I, I read my instructions wrong. I literally <laughs> printed or made instructions, wrote them all down, took notes. I put them right here so I could see it while I was cooking, and I read the one third cup of flour as the next direction as three to four cups of flour. Fair so I put in almost bagels. three cups of flour. So did you like the did you like the cup method better, or did you like the hot pocket kind of method better? I like the hot pocket. I think better. I did too, and I think realistic for a uh, for a food truck, we're gonna have the flat top. Mm -hmm. So you know, having a dough that's uh, cooled in a cooler. I think Pick it's out totally the dough. fine with getting the sauce in there. I think it just needs a lot more, and mm -hmm. the dough needs to be a lot more. Like I, yeah, we I need put to have two things together: thicker dough or like a a bigger piece of dough, we so we can wrap more, more stuff it. in it. Which we are looking about like that. Uh, they're they're looking pretty good. I think they're just about done. I give them just a little bit longer. I want them to get a little bit more golden brown first, though. Guys, I love how cool the. I, I'm still just. I love how we have this set up today. I don't know if I showed you, but the close-up cam here. The setup's about the only thing that's gone right so far today. I mean, the setup's been great, but so, I mean, we've got chat over there, so we were able to read chat better now. We've got, you know, all of our cooking stuff right there. We got the keyboard for the desktop right here, and that's, I'm using that to change scenes and cameras and everything. And then, you know, I've got the uh, studio lights up there, and we've got the setup all over here. Um... That's, that's how we had today set up, and I think it was a pretty cool setup. I think we've perfected our setup for, you know, kitchen cooking streams. Sure so now it's going to be more, like more about the food. Well, okay, guys, here's how the, the bagels turned out. We've got the everything bacon bagels here. We've got the not going to touch because they're super hot and burnt me last time. Cinnamon and brown sugar bagels. 
Then we got the everything bagels over here, with the nice coating. Um, we uh, we've got these are these should be firm, but like kind of soft still, especially because they're hot. Um, hopefully, you all know what fresh bagels kind of like feel when you poke them. I'm a big fan of poke cooking. If it cooks right, you're good. So everybody, once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, Tyler, Jordan, we stream every Monday at 6 p.m. Uh, we also stream a couple other days a week, but 6 p.m. Is, is definitely a set schedule on that. Bye. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to find somebody to drop a host on here, so just hold tight for a second. Jordan, entertain them. Hello, my honey. Hello, my lady. Hello, my rat tongue girl. Keep doing that. That is working <laughs> great. When we... You keep doing it, you guys, till you go away. Thanks for hanging out. This is Tyler and Jordan. We'll be live next Monday and tomorrow and a bunch of other times. We'll see you guys over there. Woo!